Hello witches. I just did about like, I don't know, I got like five and five minutes into my video and realized that I just took a picture of myself. Didn't actually start a video. Feel really dumb right now. Okay. All right. Anyway. So this <clears throat> video, I'm sorry, it's been a while since I've made a video, which is probably why I can't figure out how to use my phone. You know, whatever. It happens. Been having some mental issues. Um, having a hard time getting the uh, motivation um, to make a video and and work through the editing process and put it up and all that kind of stuff. And last night I watched this this video by She Who Walks Between Worlds <clears throat> about her top fives and I was like this is awesome and I saw some stuff on hers that like I hadn't even heard of before. I'm like oh that's cool. I've never heard of that before. So um, I thought, hmm, well, I'll do a video response to that and I'll do my own. So I'm excited. I'm actually going to split mine up into a couple of different videos and split it into the parts because cause I don't like long videos. I know <laughs> it's funny because uh, quite a few of my videos so far have been kind of long. But you know, yeah. Um, I know that I like to talk and I like to ramble and I, it takes me a while to get where I'm going. So I'm gonna try to make it easier on you and I'm gonna split it up by making several videos and you can watch the ones you want to and you don't have to watch the ones you don't want to. So these are my top five tools. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna start off by saying I don't actually use a lot of tools. I'm not really sure why. Like I just don't, they don't all drive with me, I guess. Uh, I have an athame, athame. I don't know how you say that word, but I have one, I don't use it. In fact, it broke at one point and I fixed it. And I still have it, but I don't use it. Um, it's made out of malachite and bone, actually. It's very pretty, but I don't use it. Um, I actually don't know where it is right now. Uh, I have a wand, and I actually really like my wand, but I find that <laughs> it's actually not long enough. Um, I'm thinking about trying to find a longer, for lack of a better word, stick um, to turn into more of a staff. But I don't want like, I, I, I don't want like this super thick like walking staff. Like I want a staff to draw a circle with, you know. Um, I mean I want it to be thick enough that it's not going to just break in half. But at the same time, I want it to be slender. So <coughs> I'm in the process of kind of keeping my eyes out for something that's going to work. Uh, I haven't found it yet. We'll see. Haven't gotten there yet. Um, but I do have a wand. Uh, it's got a quartz point at one end. It's wrapped with silver jewelry wire. It's pretty. I don't use it. Uh, so let's get right into it. <coughs> My first tool that I use all the time is my Apocrypha. And if you have watched any of my previous videos, well, um, well not any, but a lot of them I guess I mentioned in there, um, you'll know that my, I call it an Apocrypha, um, my book is an Apocrypha, but um, it's my version of A Book of Shadows or a Grimoire. <clears throat> book of light, book of mirrors, whatever the heck you want to call it. Mine's an apocrypha. This is actually like the full version, but this first book here is my actual apocrypha, where I, it's my like pretty finished book, um, where I've done all my like finished work um, and everything. I made it, you know, pretty and everything. 
And then I have a witchy workbook where I just put like my notes and things. Um, I've got a place to, it's basically, eh, losing things. Uh, just a folder for stuff. And then my book of shadows, uh, which is funny because I do actually have a book of shadows, but it's not a book of shadows. Um, my book of shadows is for shadow work. And you can see it's empty because I still have yet to do that. I really do need to start working on my shadow self. It's, it's on my to-do list. But yeah, my Apocrypha is definitely one of those things that um, I use all the time. I work in it all the time. Uh, it's one of the mainstays of my craft, period. I mean, that's just there. Okay, so moving on, number two. Oop. Number two would be uh, my tarot decks just in general, but I chose the tarot deck that I tend to go to the most, uh, which would be my Wild Unknown tarot deck. Um, I actually usually, like I have the whole box still that it originally came in the huge box, um, and I actually keep it in there usually, so, but I wasn't gonna try and unbox it on camera, so. Um, that way but so all the cards yeah um so <clears throat> tarot for me is kind of a way for me to think through problems if i'm stuck on something as i often am i will be because i'm one of those people who <clears throat> i <clears throat> will start thinking of a problem and I have a couple of different solutions thought out <coughs> logically, but I don't know which one is actually the best one to go with because it's like my head says one thing and my heart says another. And I'm like, sometimes it's better to go with your head and sometimes it's better to go with your heart. And I don't always know which one is which. And so a lot of times I will consult my tarot deck as far as giving me another angle to look at the problem from. Um, so I, I use my tarot deck a lot for that reason. Uh, my next tool is a really good one. I should use it more often than I do. It is one of my favorites. It's also probably one of my most expensive. Um, it's my singing bowl. Uh, I do not think I don't think it is authentic, meaning I don't think that it's like one that was handmade by a, you know, Tibetan monk. Um, it is a Tibetan singing bowl, but I think this is one that was probably like factory created or something. It still has a beautiful sound, but one of the handmade ones is just not in my budget. so. Unfortunately, it's not, it's just not there. I hope this sound comes across, I'm gonna play it for you. I hope this sound comes across well <clears throat> in the video. I don't know if it will. I apologize if it doesn't, but I, I love this sound, so. These are obviously used um, in the same way that bells can be used um, for clearing space uh, and kind of clearing negative energies out. I really, I just like my singing bowl. I actually thought about when I was teaching, because I used to be a teacher, I thought about when I was teaching actually taking it with me to use as a form of like getting the class's attention uh, when I needed to like give directions and stuff and I just kept forgetting to take it to school with me. Uh, and I think, I think that might've been my like spirit's way of saying, if you take it to school, it's gonna lose its meaning. Like it's gonna, 
I don't I don't know. I don't know. I just I just never remember to bring it with me to school. Uh, my next tool, so this is the fourth tool, is my working candle. <clears throat> I love candles in general. If you ask my husband, uh, every time we go to <laughs> Walmart, Target, uh, anywhere really, I'm like, ooh, candles. <laughs> and I'm like, ooh, I'm like, can I get a candle? Can I get candles? And I'll like sit there and just pick out candles. And I'm sitting there like, can I just like smell all the candles, you know? So yeah, I really like candles. Um, this is my working candle. Um, it's just white, um, but it does have a scent to it. It's eucalyptus. I think it's actually eucalyptus and sage, which is wonderful. It's just mm, yummy. I also like it because once I finish with the candle, I can use the container it's in. I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet, but I'm sure I'll use it for something, maybe herbs, storing herbs, um, storing oddities. I, I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I use it for something because it's even got like those things on it. So like it, it seals. It's freaking awesome. Love that thing. And last, but definitely not least, the last tool that I use is my incense burner. I have several of these. Uh, the reason I chose this one to show is this is the first one I ever bought. No, oh, I turned it the wrong way. <laughs> and you can see the top of it's all burnt off. Um, but yeah, it's a little... It's a little dirty. Um, but yeah, um, I've been trying to scrape the incense out actually in preparation for making my own black salt. Um, and it's not going as well as I'd like. <laughs> I'm, I'm making a mess in my kitchen. But you know, what else? Uh, so yeah, this is the first one I ever bought. I love this little beauty. Uh, it has like no meaning. It's just like little random pretty holes in it and I don't care. Um, it does somewhere around here. Oh yeah. It has a little hole so you can actually store like incense sticks in there. Uh, which is funny because I always think of there's this oh god. I can't remember the movie. But if you've seen the movie, you will under you will know this line. Like, ooh, you can put your weed in there. Ooh. You know, I'm like and guys, I've I've actually unfortunately I've never tried pot. Um I would love to, but until they make it like legal in my state, um, recreationally, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm a, I'm a law abiding citizen, you know, all that crap. But yeah, um, so incense burner, which brings me to my next topic. Uh, my next video on this topic, my top fives. It is going to be my top five incenses. So stay tuned and we'll get there. All right, see you guys next time. Bye.